Hi, so the following crystals and crystal formations will support you through the summer season and summer solstice. And these stones are to support you to connect with the energy of the season so that you work with the cycles of nature and not against them. Hi, I'm Ethan Lazzarini and I'm the author of free crystal healing books, including Crystal Grid's Power. Okay, so let's get straight into these crystals for summer and afterwards I will give you some tips and a bit more information about how to work with these crystals. Plus I'll give you some practical tips for working with the cycle of nature in other areas of your life. Sunstone is a form of feldspar. It can be clear, it can be white and it can have orange, pink and peach tones to it. This is actually reminds me of the sun shimmering and glittering on the sea. Sunstone is connected to the energy of the sun and is a powerful mood lifter and enhancer. You can also work with this to build positive thought patterns. It's super high vibration and increases your optimism. So green adventuring looks like a luscious green fruit or a succulent plant. Sometimes it has speckles of dark green inside it that look a bit like tiny seeds. Green adventuring is a popular stone for receiving abundance and prosperity. It helps you focus on the abundance in nature and feel gratitude for all that you have in your life, big or small. The form of a crystal cluster can be used to represent the element of fire. The mix of crystals in a group also holds a strong energy of community. This is a time when we tend to socialize and gather into groups. So a crystal cluster is an excellent crystal for working with groups, connecting with your family, joining communities. Alternatively, you can also use a carved crystal flame for fire energy. Now this wouldn't be a summer and solar themed selection without citrine. This is the golden form of clear quartz and it is brimming with solar energy. Work with citrine to develop a mindset which will help you create more success in your life. Citrine draws prosperity and opportunities for prosperity and helps you create wealth over time. Peridot is an intense green form of gem quality clear olivine and it's really beautiful. Its colour is like sun ripened extra virgin olive oil. Most of the crystals on the market are pretty small but you do not need anything big to benefit from this stone. Peridot is another crystal for success and manifesting abundance and it is also good for health and healing. If you're enjoying this video so far please tap the like button and subscribe if you're not already. Amber is a gemstone that is formed from the fossilized resin of trees from millions of years ago. It can be clear to opaque. It also comes in different colors, but most of it is an orange yellow similar to honey. Amber looks like crystallized sunlight and has that type of energy to it. Work with Amber to connect with nature, the sun, and to express yourself. This is a geometric shape that is carved into a tower with four sides tapering towards a pyramid termination at the top. Obelisks can be found throughout the world, but the earliest ones can be seen in ancient Egypt. They were sacred to the sun god Ra, and the sacred geometry of an obelisk anchors solar energy and the divine masculine. Although red rubies do exist, most of them, especially non-gem quality natural ones, are more of a warm, plummy purple color. For crystal healing purposes, you do not need a clear crystal. And these are much more affordable, especially as tumble stones. Ruby has a long associated connection with the sun in Vedic astrology, and it is also a good crystal for increasing energy and empowerment. The golden brown and black bands of tiger's eye resemble tiger's stripes. Tiger's eye is another solar stone and is associated with the summer zodiac sign of Leo. Also in astrology, Leo is ruled by the sun. This crystal's confidence boosting energy is ideal for venturing outside more, owning your power and believing in yourself. You can wear or carry these crystals on you can put them on display in your home to synchronize yourself with the season. 
you can decorate an altar or any sacred space with them. Or why not consider making a crystal grid that incorporates these crystals for the solstice or the season? The summer solstice can be seen as one of the four energetic gateways or portals of the year. And the summer solstice occurs when our Earth has one of its poles pointing at the maximum tilt towards our sun. The sun now reaches the highest point in the sky and the days are at their longest now. This marks the time of maximum solar energy and light. And if you're in England, you will also notice the sound of lawnmowers while you're trying to film your YouTube videos. Common energetic themes of the season of summer are flourishing, harvest and abundance. Also fertility, illumination, the sun and the divine masculine. And here are some practical and holistic tips to help you get more in the flow of the energy of this season. And you could use your crystal for summer or wear it while you're doing any of these activities. You could visit a beautiful place in nature or do some form of yoga, meditation or other spiritual practice outside. You could place fresh flowers in your home or on an altar or of a sacred space you're using. You could watch the sun rise or the sun set. Do daily exercise or go for a walk. Work with a summer themed oracle or tarot deck or deck that reminds you of the energy or the colors of the season. You could go to an outdoor event, a festival or some kind of community celebration to list all the things you're grateful for or appreciative in your life right now. Which of these crystals do you think you'll be working with during the season? Or let me know if you know of any other crystals that you associate with this time of the year. If you did find this video helpful, please give it a like because it will really help me and also lets other people find this information on YouTube and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Also check out the other videos appearing on screen now that I think you might be interested in as well.